Events on WASP in October of, of 2011, uh, our DT1 test events, set a real solid baseline for the F-35B to operate in an envelope out at sea. We're building upon that capability here, DT2 on WASP, to look for things that are more operationally represented. We're on an amphibious assault ship, the USS WASP class, LHD-1. We are one of eight ships in this class. And we operate with about a thousand sailors embarked, and we can accommodate up to 1,500 Marines and their equipment, which is comprised of about 30 aircraft. We've got a combination of the contractors with Northrop Grumman, Lockheed, BAE, Pratt and Whitney, as well as the government, the NAV Air folks working, and of course the, the test pilots. Uh, right now, uh, what we're doing is really demonstrating our attendant capability for the F-35B, uh, the Stovall version of the airplane. And we're actually taking the jet out in its attendant environment. The attendant place is supposed to do its wartime posture and actually test it in the demanding environment here out at sea. So for DT2, we're exploring the edges of the shipboard operating envelope. We're targeting the highest headwind and crosswind points that will eventually clear for the fleet. And to have the aircraft handle those crosswinds with ease tells us that the envelope that we're providing to the fleet is a robust one and one that will serve them well in their operational duties around the globe. We need to find out how fast the ship needs to go to give the aircraft proper winds to take off and recover safely. Captain Teach has been awesome and, he's, and his crew has been awesome. Uh, he's, he understands we've got some very peculiar test points we have to meet. We've asked for some very demanding conditions. Putting the aircraft where it's going to, what, what, what the aircraft's going to see operationally. Internal stores, night operations, high wind over deck, and conditions where the aircraft really needs to launch. You know, our striking power as a national force typically comes at night, so the ability to operate this aircraft from these kind of ships in a nighttime environment is critical for Marine Corps IOC. No longer be, well, it's just a LHD with some Harris and helicopters. You throw an F-35 in the mix, it's going to change the game. You now have multinational force, multi-platform capability at sea to affect change in the world wherever it is necessary. So an F-35B operating from this type of ship really gives a joint war fighting commander different options for execution of his national strategic objectives in various areas around the globe. Some of those areas previously would, would be not uh, available for uh, U.S. Marine Corps participation with their current uh, aircraft. That's so much better, so much superior than some of the things I've seen in the past. And to watch everyone come together, whether it be with the Navy, whether it be our crew and how they interact and how they really trust this airplane uh, to do what it says it's going to do. Life on board the ship's been really great. The, the WASP's been extremely accommodating to us. The, uh, the food's been great. Uh, we try to find ent entertainment when we can. One of the, the, the opportunities we've had on this underway is to let the crew participate in a swim call. It, it's a Navy tradition. Other than all the flight test stuff, I think the coolest thing that uh, has happened out here on WASP was the opportunity to uh, get in the well deck and uh, swim along with the ITF teammates, throw the frisbee around in the water, and uh, really just enjoy a swim call put on by the ship. So we flooded the well deck with about six feet of water and uh, set up a volleyball net and let the crew and, the, and our, our JSF team come down and uh, get some, some swim time in our well deck one evening. We've had a great experience with the, the test crew on, on board. Uh, what a superb group of professionals. Uh, they've integrated in, into the crew. It, it took over a year of planning to make DT2 happen. And uh, in the end, what it really means is uh, the team came together when it needed to, and this is the only team that could get this job done. It's really neat to watch all the people work to make it happen. You know, these are just machines behind us. This is a machine we're standing on. But to watch the people to make this happen, it's really a testament of, of what the young men and women in both the ITF and on the ship can do. This really was truly a team effort uh, to make all this happen. Um, we had two airplanes we had to get ready for this uh, deployment, and whether it be through getting everyone trained to come out to get here, whether it was getting the jets ready from a maintenance standpoint to get here, whether it was getting all the IT working, every single one of the thousand people that we had at the ITF played an absolute vital role in making this a success today. As impressive as this jet is, are people more impressed than make this success every day? Yeah, certainly for those of us out here in the WASP, it's a very rewarding experience. But really, this is a culmination of events and actions that have involved our entire integrated test force back at Pax River. We're definitely meeting our objective that we put out for the trip and we're at, at times we're even going above and beyond that. We really can go home proud of everything that we've done out here. 